Hey guys, you're listening to what we did in the last video. We beat mapped a vocal, chopped it up a bit, and now we're going to add our percussive elements. First, I think we'll sample some drum loops to see if anything fits well. I actually made all these loops, so hopefully I like them all. I think this one is a good starting point for the style I'm going for. We can use the pencil tool here to drag out the loop and I think we should let the track breathe a little bit so I'm going to use the eraser to get rid of some of these kicks. I actually like having the kicks in the second part, but I want this particular kick a little closer to the snare. So, some quick edits. We have our new drum loop. We can just copy and paste it. I think we can make this feel a little bigger uh, and kind of more spacey if we have a nice reverberated snap with that snare. just going to add that same little plate reverb we did to the vocal chops. We can put another miscellaneous percussive element at the end. I think it would also be cool if we had some fast, consistent hi-hats going as well. Now if I was using the pencil tool, I can drag out a single shot file like this, just one time. It's fine for some tasks, but instead of using the pencil, I can use the paintbrush to paint the clip over and over again, and for every grid line, it will start over. This means if I zoom in or out, I can change the speed of my hi-hats. It's a super nice feature. to the final results. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to tie it all together with a simple baseline and the groove tool.